Hi, my name is Erin Barasonic, and I'm what they call a lifer here at Harding Township School, which means I've been here from kindergarten to now, and my life is about to change. Before I get started, I would just like to thank all the teachers, staff, administrators, parents, especially mine, and loved ones for sharing in our celebration. You've all shaped our graduating class to the people we are today, and we could have never gotten here without your guidance and support. Paul McCartney once said, I am the eternal optimist. No matter how rough it gets, there's always light somewhere. The rest of the sky may be cloudy, but that little bit of blue draws me on. This quote has helped me get through the, during the hard times, especially this year. Everyone lost a lot this year due to the coronavirus pandemic. We have lost many big things, including family, friends, jobs, money, lives, food, homes, etc. However, it is sometimes the little things we lose that get to us the most. For example, my grade did not get to have an eighth grade trip or normal graduation, a school play, spring cotillion, field day, Dorney Park, the spring concert, and many more fun privileges that past classes got to enjoy. Even though we lost a lot, we still gained some things too. Precious family time, time to discover a hobby, and getting to sleep in are all positive things that have come out of this experience. Although life seems hard, stay motivated. Let the future motivate us. Let the people we love motivate us. Let our dreams and goals motivate us. I always like to think of Harding as a private public school. And this is because of our size and all our opportunities. Sure, it's considered a public school. Anyone who lives in Harding can attend. But most public schools don't have a 21-day Shakespeare residency, an amazing performing arts program, many fun electives, early morning programs and helps, dedicated and hardworking sports teams, perfect sized classes, not too big or too small, and the most amazing, passionate teachers. Other things that encourage me are the wonderful memories I have, especially here at Harding, and here are some of my favorites. One thing I always look forward to every year is Halloween at our school, and mostly because of Mr. Hoffman's creepy stories. The things that really make his tales different from the most is that they are all true stories. I also enjoy going to Dorney Park. I could hardly sleep the night before, and I would usually hit snooze a few times before I actually got out of bed. However, all the pain from waking up was worth it when we got to ride the roller coasters and won a bunch of prizes at the prize booths. Another early memory that I have at Harding is my very first day of kindergarten. I know it might be hard to believe that I remember something from when I was five, but I can recall wearing my purple dress and my L.L. Bean backpack and meeting some of the people I like to call family. I also remember some smaller things, like seeing forever friends and pizza love on the risers, coloring in pictures of the presidents in kindergarten, having an ice cream party in third grade, making a succulent garden in science, joining my social studies classes, practice Zoom call when I wasn't in school and surprising everyone, doing a quick change in the play, calling our band song Invader instead of Invader in fourth grade, and many more little things that make our time here at HTS worthwhile. Because of all the memories, my past self and life in the future, I know that life after Harding will be great. I will be attending Madison High School and I can't wait to see many of my peers there in the fall and many more later in life. Now, I would just like to say some more personal thank yous. Mom and Dad, thank you for always supporting me and for raising me to be the person I am today. Lily and Teddy, for those of you who don't know, Lily and Teddy are my siblings. Thank you for making life outside school a wild ride and for always making me laugh and smile. Ms. Donahue and Mr. Spelker, thank you for all the endless opportunities you have offered here and for always encouraging me to reach for the stars. Mrs. Warner, thank you for showing me that creativity is key and for helping me find a passion for law after we conducted the mock trial for Lamb's dislaughter. Mr. Hoffman, thank you for always putting a smile on my face during a class and always making history exciting and fun. Ms. Engelsman, Thank you for teaching me problem-solving skills and to never get up, give up when things get hard, especially math problems. Dr. G, thank you for teaching me many valuable life lessons, including how terrible it feels to get on the, on the list. Mr. Allworth, thank you for teaching me the joy of music and how fun it is to scream in the sound booths. Lausher, thank you for showing me how interesting and fun learning Chinese is and for pushing me out of my comfort zone when things start to get easy. Ms. Garo, thank you for also teaching me the joy of music, but most importantly, thank you for helping me find my voice. And lastly, my classmates. Thank you guys so much for not only making my nine years of Harding the best years of my life, and I am glad to not only call you guys friends, but family. 
In closing, I would just like to state a universal truth that has helped me get by as well. Struggles are nothing more than steps on the way to success. Whenever I make a decision, big or small, I like to think, would my 10-year-old self be proud of this decision? Would be proud of what I'm about to do? Be proud of me. There are always going to be things that bring you down in life, but you have to know that they're always going to pay off in the end. So next time, you really feel like there is no blue in the sky. Be proud of yourself and all that you have achieved. I hope that all of my graduating peers remember that, and they also remember all the amazing times we have had at Harding. Thank you for everything, and I can't wait to see everyone in the future.